Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Yomawari. In the previous episode, we were kind of just wandering around the sewer, and then we ended up finding this area. And it's it's been a chore. I mean, jeez. We ended up running into a rat monster, which I called, by the way. I was just like, oh, these nice, nice mice trying to lead me out, and they're really just going to try and kill me. And they did. But anyway, we left off with this giant, like, skull monster thing. And I guess we're gonna have to get past him to get across the bridge. I'm not even sure why we want to go this way, though, at the moment. Oh, that doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. I'm not liking my chances here. So I want to get like really far over this way. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how this battle is supposed to work. Oh, come on. Really? Try this again, shall we? I guess I'm just gonna have to dodge around until the end of this battle. Because. I don't think I can dictate the way that he moves, and he seems to be making the same moves every single time, so... Really, I just think eventually, you know, the battle will be over, and then... And then that will be that kind of thing. You got a lovely voice, my friend. Alright, this is where he got me last time, because he, he came in with the hand a little too close, apparently. Unless maybe when he does the red eyeball thing, maybe that gives me enough time to actually sneak under that arm. So do you guys think maybe that's a thing? Although I wouldn't see why I would want to go past the left arm. So I'm just going to keep, you know, going with the flow of the battle. Some progress, I guess. Ooh. Chaco, come and bark at him. Something. We're not making progress here. Oh, oh. Slow 
slowly but surely, actually, we are making progress. We're just not allowed to enjoy it because he's trying to murder us. Oh, we're going this way. Oh. This way. See, the next time his eyes turn red, I almost feel like I should try and attempt and go under the arm. But at the same time, I really don't want to because if if this is just dodge until you make it to the other side, then I'd lose so much progress if it doesn't work. Going this way. Going back this way. Uh... Oh, it did work. Huh. Yeah, it gives us plenty of time. Huh. Yeah, we were supposed to be doing that the entire time, I guess. You know, that's my bad. You live, you learn. We just have to dodge around enough to where he lifts up the, the right arm. Because that's the direction we want to go, obviously. That's fair enough, I guess. Chaco, bark at him. You tell that big meanie to go away. Good boy. That's right. You can't beat the power of the Chaco. More mice? Really? Shoo, you silly. Yeah. You tell him, Chaco. I like how giant skeleton monster was scared of tiny little dog. Like, it looks like a Palmerian, to be honest. A little palm. Small but feisty. He's gonna keep guard. No more mice this way. Thank you. Thank you, little Chaco. Let's investigate what's over here. Because he's going to let us now. What have we got over this way? Unless this is just the way to the mountains that we were looking for. I don't think it was, though. I think this is its whole entire own thing. Conch found. Big shell, I have a hole with both hands. When I put it to my ear, I can hear it crying. Or the ocean, you know, whichever. Crying, ocean, same thing. So we got past the dam. This look, looks like it leads to a dead end. Did your mouse friend die? Chaco, get him. Chaco is not scared of anything. Yep, they're gone. Really? Chaco's saying you need to calm it. I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah, but they might be afraid of dogs. Shoo, you. I said be gone. 
There's a dead mouse here. It needs a proper burial. We'll give it one. We put it soul to rest. See that? See? We're nice. I have sharp teeth. No. I have wings. No. I have large claws. No. Do you know who I am? Yes. You're... A mouse. Oh. You're dead. I don't understand. I don't want to see ghosts, but if I can't see ghosts, then I won't be able to see you either. How did it end up like this? After I find you, find ghost you, then what do I do then? Yes, I'd like to save. Achievement unlocked late night. Is this the way I was supposed to go then? Because I kind of assumed I was supposed to go up into the mountains. But I guess not. I guess I was supposed to go this way. Unless this is the huge path around to get to the mountains. In which case, then I miss something back in the sewer on that one path. This is what I get for not exploring. Like, I keep, I keep thinking, oh, I need to go this way, or oh, I need to go this way. So then I'll branch off to go a different way. And it's almost like every single time that I do that, that... I ended up actually taking the path that I was supposed to go because I I apparently cannot tell the difference between a path the game wants me to take and one that it's like, oh no. You know, you could you could go a different way. Like I'm gonna go back this way and this is probably gonna be like blocked off and so it's gonna result in me not being able to continue. See? I guess it's locked. And I don't have a key for it. See? So that was actually the way I was supposed to go. It just so happens that <laughs> I did it on impulse because I thought, oh, there's got to be extra stuff this way. I'm, I'm great at that. Alright, Chaco, where to? Doggy! I don't see anything. The dam's lake is all dried up. Huh. I should be able to go straight to the mountain now. Let's go. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, there's some blood. Why is there blood in this lake? <laughs> that tiny little bug killed me. That bad, huh? That bad, huh? <laughs> yep, come on, Chaco. Bug off. Get it? Bug off. It was a bug.
Wow. Be gone. Mudman. Come on, I want to wake you up too. That way I only have to hide once. Because I'm going to have to backtrack all the way over here and then... See, now they're going to walk by, they're going to be like... And then... Shoo. Thank you. See, now we're thinking Yomawari style. Blood stains going this way, so this is clearly the path I need to take. Okay. There's a stump there. If I need to hide from anything up here. Am I gonna... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Of course they would show up behind me. That's the thing. That's how they got me. They, they made it show up behind me so I couldn't run back to the stump. Come on, then. We're gonna have to start from the beginning, obviously. Too close that time. That's my bad. Ugh. I'm not a fan of these saves. I don't know, one hit deaths always seemed really cheap to me to begin with. Like, it works for this style of game because it's built around it, but at the same time, it doesn't make it feel any less annoying, if that makes sense. Because there's just no room for actual messing up. Can I tiptoe past you, Mr. Mudman? Ha ha! There is an item right here. Rainbow shell found. Well, if this was Chrono Trigger, I'd be getting some uh, rainbow items. A pretty shell with a bunch of different color on it. When I put it right up to my nose, I can kind of smell the ocean. Nice. Nope, okay. Tiptoeing does not stop mud men. Tiptoeing only hides you from the librarian creeps. Away with you. That was my bad. Come on, you're in the corner. I can see you. Now you're on. So we're back to where we were. We just have to make sure that we're able to get past whatever the heck those spider looking things are. See, they throw them in right behind me, to the point where I can't run from them. And now I have to start back from here.
don't think the rock actually did anything, to be honest. Shoo. Concealment, the achievement. Okay. You can't run from them. I don't get it. Oh, they're afraid of the light? This is gonna bother me. If that's as easy as it is, it's just shining the light on them. I mean, I guess that's not the first monster that would be like that. Back up. It's really that simple. Wow. No. I says you all back up. Back it. Back it. I ain't taking any of your shenanigans. up. I still see you. I think he's gone now. I really wish there was another save. Okay, that's you. I'll get rid of you real quick. Oh, Mr. Kotawari, what are you doing here? I'm not a fan of Mr. Kotawari doing things. It's never okay. Get off me. Oh. Jesus Christ. Stop your nonsense. Come on. Stop. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. There was an item up here. Part four found. So we found part one, two, I guess we missed part three, but we found part four, which looks to be like a fan. All right, Mr. Kotawari, what are you doing up here? I'm not a fan of you doing anything, but... Looks 
like we're stuck with you doing things. Why are you chopping up birds? Doggy! What, what, what do I do? That spirit, he, he got... He got the raven. No. Go on. Back up. I ain't not even dealing with you. See, I'm just taking this part slow because I still haven't ran into another shrine where, you know, oh, there it is. There's one right there. Thank Jesus. Oh. There's a door. Looks like it's locked. Barren wasteland doors locked. Heaven forbid we can't knock down the door. Or... What are you doing? I thought I left you in the woods. Should I hide in here? I can just wait for him to pass and then I can go into the area where he was. Although I don't see why I would want to. I guess. I don't think there was a reason. I think it was a dead end. He was just dropping in, as it were. Oh, hello. That's Mr. Kotawari. Did Mr. Kotawari just kill that monster? I think he did. So clearly that's what the game wanted me to do. Also, Mr. Kotawari is definitely going to be coming after me now. Yeah, that's what I was, you know, that's what I was expecting. That did not surprise me in the least. Chaco, get him! Chaco, no, he can pop up behind us. Don't you dare attack Chaco. I was about to say, like, I wasn't actually about to leave Chaco. I actually had control of that. It gave me the option of hiding behind the sign or going over to Chaco. If I, if I'm correct, like my first impulse was to go over to Chaco, but like, I think I had control of that. See, we got each other's back, Chaco. I wasn't allowed about to let him do anything to you. Doggy. I... I promise I will bring you home. You can't make that promise. You go. Run. Go. He's gonna be up by our side until the end. Come on now. Please. If you died, you would be sad. Little doggy. I guess it's true. You should probably go home. Be safe. Can you stop? I won't let you kill again. I'm not scared anymore. 
I'm not afraid of you anymore. I don't think they'll stop him from actually... I'm going to go see you. Let me through. I was going to say, I don't think that's going to stop him from actually like, trying to kill us. I'm hiding in a stump. He actually didn't come up, which is strange. We got key item, old key found. He didn't even come up this way. That's strange. I'm going to assume this goes to that door up at the front, though. So this isn't going to be the last we see of Mr. Kotawari. We're going to have to run into him back this way. Yep, there he is. Come on, where's that old house again? I'm gonna have to remember. Yeah. It's up to this way and to the left. You see, I can hear him, but he's gonna have to teleport up to me at this point to actually catch up. This one. We almost have all the key items, so there's that much at least. We found puzzle eight. Nice. Wonder what it's gonna make. <laughs> Mr. Kotawari, chill yourself. Not seeing anything. There's something written on the monument. It's all smeared, I can't read it. That's unfortunate. this here. Oh, it sent me all the way back here. Still have the old key. So there's that much at least. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and leave this off here. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode where uh, we are most definitely probably going to find you's body. So, see you all then.